This video will go over part two of the first quiz of the Myths, Legends, and Folktales unit. Before you begin, please make sure to put your name first and last and your homeroom at the top of your paper. If you have not done that, please do that now. This quiz is worth a total of 28 points. The directions say, complete the following activities and answer the following questions after reading the story of Perseus, a famous hero of ancient Greece. If you would like the story read aloud to you, choose the 550 Lexile level. Before we begin, make sure to choose the appropriate Lexile level. You can choose the Lexile level based on my conversation with you about your personal Lexile level. If you'd like it read aloud to you, please choose the 550 L Lexile level. I'm now going to read the story out loud. Myths and Legends, Perseus, famous hero of ancient Greece. Greek mythology began thousands of years ago. People wanted to explain floods, sickness, feelings, and wars. They made up myths about gods and goddesses with special powers. These ideas were passed down through stories. A Nervous Grandfather Perseus was one of the legendary Greek heroes. His father was Zeus, the king of the gods. His mother was Danae, the daughter of King Acrisius. Zeus married Danae in secret. When Acrisius found out, he was angry. He had Danae and her child placed in a chest and thrown into the sea. The chest floated away to an island. A man rescued Danae and her child and took them to the palace of the king. Becoming a Hero The king of the island fell in love with Danae. He helped raise her son, Perseus. When Perseus was a young man, the king told him he should become a hero. They decided that Perseus should try to kill Medusa. The Medusa was one of the Gorgons. They were three sisters with hair made of snakes. The gods and goddesses gave Perseus flying sandals, a magic bag, and the helmet of Hades. When he wore the helmet, he became invisible. Perseus flew to the home of the Gorgons. They were fast asleep. Perseus remembered a warning. Anyone who looked directly at the Gorgons would turn into stone. So if Perseus turned his face away from them and used his shield as a mirror to follow their reflection. Finally, he reached the Medusa. He cut off her head and put it in his bag. Facing the monster. Perseus flew far away. Eventually, he reached Ethiopia, the kingdom of King Sisyphus. The, town there was the towns there were destroyed. Poseidon had attacked the country with a terrible flood, which brought with it a huge monster. The Ethiopians prayed to the gods for help. The gods told them there were, was only one way to save their land. They needed to feed the king's daughter to Andromeda. They needed to feed the king's daughter Andromeda to the monster. The people prayed to the king Cephas until he finally gave up his child. Andromeda was tied to a rock on the seashore. Saving the damsel in distress. Perseus had an idea. He told Cephas that he would kill the monster if he could marry Andromeda. The king gladly agreed. Perseus put on the helmet of Hades and flew into the air above the sea. When the head of the beast appeared, Perseus flew down. He took out the head of Medusa and held it before the monster. The beast's ugly body slowly turned into stone. Perseus rescued Andromeda. Soon they were married. Hercules' Relatives Perseus and Andromeda had many children and grandchildren. Their great-grandson was Heracles, another great hero. The Romans called him Hercules. Once you have read this story, go back to the questions. The first four questions will help you answer the first writing question. 
The first four questions are, name one character from the tale with magical powers. The second question is, name one character who is very good. The third question is, name one character who is very bad or evil. And the fourth question is, name a good character who triumphs over an evil character. Please note that characters in this story can be human or months, can be humans, gods, or monsters. So you can choose a human, a god, or a monster for the character with magical powers, the character who is good, the character who is evil, or the good character who triumphs over the evil character. These four questions are going to help you answer the next question. It says, in at least one five to seven sentence paragraph, explain how the story of Perseus is a folktale. Hint, use the questions above to explain how it fits the characteristics of most folktales. These are the characters, characteristics rather, of most folktales. Most folktales have one character with magical powers, one character who's very good, one character who's very bad or evil, and a good character who triumphs over an evil character. When answering this question, you need to make sure that you are writing a paragraph and you need to explain how per the story of Perseus is a folktale. And you can use the questions above to help you. The topic of your paragraph needs to be that the story of Perseus is a folktale. That means that your topic sentence needs to tell me that the story of Perseus is a folktale. For example, the story of Perseus is a folktale. The story has all four characteristics of folktales. First, and then I could go back to my first four questions, and the first characteristic is one character from the tale with magical powers. First, and then whichever character you put, has magical powers. Second, and so on and so forth. So make sure though that you have your topic sentence and all of your examples. The last question says, in at least one five to seven sentence paragraph, explain how the theme of, if you have courage, you will succeed, fits the story of Perseus. Make sure to give specific examples from the story of per Perseus's courage and his success. So that means topic sentence of your paragraph needs to reflect the topic. For example, you could write, the story of Perseus, let me take that back. So I, you could write, the theme, if you have courage, you will succeed, fits the story of Perseus. In the story, Perseus showed Courage. For example, he showed courage when, and you could continue your paragraph, making sure to give examples of his courage and his success and explaining how those things fit in with the theme. Good luck. Please ask me if you have any questions, and I know that you are going to do a wonderful job.